Hi everyone, this is Jennifer from Zen Bar. I'm here to do a video accompaniment to the written blog post so that you get somewhat of a sense of a few more examples, a little bit more explanation beyond the text of the blog post that I posted this week. So at Zen Bar, this month is all about self-care and I've come to associate bar workouts with self-care because they not only help me physically with building strength and endurance and flexibility, but they also help me mentally and they really keep me grounded, especially Zen Bar workouts. So I wanted to talk today with you about how Zen Bar is actually for anyone, anytime, and anywhere. And throughout the course of this month, I'll continue to put up blog posts to illustrate these three key concepts. So just to give you a little bit of backstory, if you don't know, um, I probably have mentioned it on, on social media, I know I have, but if you haven't seen it, my background as an athlete is rooted in running and high intensity cardio and weightlifting. And I learned that my body can only sustain that type of activity for so long. And actually, up until about six years ago, it was okay. It was able to run marathons, lift heavy weights, do bodybuilding, that type of a thing. Um, but then things kind of started to break down. So it was before I turned 40 that I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. And I'm not sure whether this stems from genetics or environment or both. But the fact of the matter is I deal with autoimmune flare-ups and symptoms all the time. And I'm actually on a medication to control these symptoms and these flare-ups. And I also try to control them myself through lifestyle um, changes, through diet and exercise. Exercise has been a part of my life, an important part of my life for over 30 years. And it's helped me through a lot of good times and bad times. And it's really my therapy. And I used to look at, at it more from a physical therapeutic point of view. But now I look at it more from both, especially since once I was diagnosed with autoimmune issues and when I was training for the Boston Marathon in 2016, I discovered BAR. So BAR really is my soulmate workout in that it allows me to challenge my muscles without taxing my joints and my bones and my muscles because you're not lifting giant heavy weights. It's small dumbbell weights, body weight, resistance loops, balls, that type of a thing. But because I'm not lifting something really heavy and like forcing myself to continue to get heavier, lift, lift heavier and heavier, I really hone in on the mind-muscle connection. And the research has shown that you can become 10% stronger just by really focusing in on the muscle you're working on while you're working it. And that's where I feel that bar has really helped me to focus my brain on what my body should be doing, where I should be feeling it, and how it should be moving. So instead of lifting a 20 pound dumbbell when I do a bicep curl, I'm lifting, I just had to drop down actually because I had a, a shoulder issue in my trap, but I'm at three pounds. But the difference is the number of repetitions you do and staying in the proper form and really engaging that muscle. And that's what gives you a longer, leaner look rather than the bulkier look that I once did find attractive in, but have changed my mentality because my body just can't handle the stress. So one thing that sets Zen Bar apart from other bar techniques, and trust me, I've been you know, trained in several, is this strong focus on yoga. So we have a yoga warm-up where we prep your body for the workout. Then we do yoga poses throughout different sections of class to stretch the muscles that we just worked in the previous section. So we start with lower body first, and then we follow up with lower body stretches, and then we move to upper body, and we follow up with upper body stretches. And a lot of these stretches are rooted in yoga. And then we have a yoga cool down, which is your opportunity to really get a final good stretch and to hone in on exactly, you know, the intention that you set at the beginning of your practice, we revisit at the end and gives you the opportunity to really focus in on 
what's going on in your mind. And I found that it's during these yoga movements that I'm able to really hone in on what's going on internally, whether it's mental and or physical, and kind of push the outside world away, which to me has been really important, especially during the last few years of life. So rather than um, when I used to run, I used to listen to audiobooks, I used to listen to music, and my brain would be focused on that instead of the actual mileage because you know, running a 22 mile run in the rain, in the cold, in March is not fun. But I don't have to distract my brain when I'm doing bar, particularly Zen bar, because it's meant to engage your mind as well as your muscles. So that's where the self care comes in. It's not just about the fact that this type of exercise is low impact. It's not going to tax your joints. It's not going to tax your bones. It's not going to tax your muscles. It doesn't leave you like in a puddle of sweat depleted on the floor. It can if that's your prerogative. But if you want a more mindful practice, Zen Bar is going to give you the mindfulness, the strength, the flexibility, and the endurance. So it really is hitting everything in the 55 to 60 minute class or the shortened versions that we also offer. So Zen Bar really does care for you um, in that it's, it's going to help to just strengthen everything that you already have, your mindset, your physical strength, your endurance, etc. So now, you know, I'm more apt to pop out of bed in the morning eagerly awaiting my bar workout because I know when I'm done, I'm not only going to feel physically good, but my mental health has also been tweaked and also been attended to as well. So from someone who used to thrive on that endorphin rush that I got from running and used to, you know, log my miles on my Fitbit every day and, and like be proud of the fact that I hit that 10 mile mark or those 20,000 steps. Now my prerogative is just really to get up in the morning to do a workout where when I'm done, I feel like, yeah, I worked my muscles. I felt the burn. Like I feel good and strong, but not to the point where I can't function for the rest of the day because I depleted myself so much mentally and physically. And that's how Zen Bar is self-care for everyone. So I hope that you continue to follow this self-care series this month and that you're able to see how incorporating this type of mindful workout into your life will have so many benefits for your mind, your body, and your spirit. So thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope you enjoy the post. Take care.